<laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so what's your name? Okay. First, I gotta set the record straight. Okay, Again, right? Yeah. I have to set the record straight. This is in in honor of Ian. Old and busted, <laughs> fresh and new hotness. <laughs> Alright, let's get this straight. Old and busted, fresh and new hotness. Okay. Now back to what I was saying. <laughs> my name's Alvin Graham Jr. Uh, I began my journey in uh, early July of last year, of 2009. Began training myself, conditioning myself, uh, so that I could be able to make a massive global difference. Uh, this journey that I'm taking to honor military families aren't just to our servicemen and women that serve right now. It's literally for all of our communities. <laughs> that's that's uh that's globally. Uh, I've exceeded over 18,000 miles since uh, since uh, uh, September 27th of last year. There's days there are days where I'm, I'm maxing out over um, uh, 17 hours, 17 hour days, 19 hour days, um, two five minute breaks, three five minute breaks. I very rarely, I will never take a 15 15 minute break, a half hour break. I normally ride all the way through. Um, oh, wow. So what uh, motivated you to do this? Um, what made it, what, what made it, what motivated me, I wanted to be able to make a difference where I knew no other cyclist um, would want to do it, um, no other person would even attempt to even try and do it. Mm -hmm. um, I realized that there were a lot of military families that had children, a lot of dis disabled veterans um, had children where the needs need to be met. And uh, there are other organizations that only get it once a year. What I do is 365 days out of the year. So if it's raining, I'm still riding. If it's freezing cold outside, I'm still riding. If it's burning up hot outside, I still ride. When it's dark and rainy and it's snowing, I still ride. Mm -hmm. like, but how do you get the traction? I have a specially designed uh, a plexiglass cover that, that fits over top, over top of my rear wheel where it allows me to be able to ride and it deflects all the rain, all the snow, anything, so that I don't lose any traction. Of course, I get the grunt of everything. Right. But I don't mind because what more has everyone else laid down their lives for me yeah. and for you and for every single solitary person to be able to live out our dreams and chase our dreams as cyclists and as an athletes? What more could I give of my life? That's for awesome. Everyone else? So, uh, so where can people find out more about you and all that? Uh, you can find out more about me on my blog. It's it's my team name, uh, Team PDR at uh, dot blogspot dot com, mm -hmm. and the PDR stands for Passion, Determination, and Resilience. My teammates, you don't need 15, 20, 30 guys. You don't need five guys. No, all you need is a group that truly believes in living change and making a difference. My teammates are my sponsors who truly believe and back me. I received a Medal of Honor from, from, our, uh, from our head of police, uh, Mr. John Diaz, before he was sworn in, um, and from our former mayor, Mr. Nichols, uh, and I received another Medal of Honor, Loyalty, and Leadership by all of our senior master chiefs in, in our United States Navy, and all my efforts to humbly give myself to honor our U.S. military, and that's literally everyone in all of our community. So, I have this saying that despite the adversities that you will be faced with on an everyday basis, just realize this one thing. Take the focus off of yourself and play try and I challenge you to place the focus on your neighbor, your brother or sister that you see every single solitary day, and to live passion, determination, and resilience the same way I strive to live every day. And we truly can and will make a difference as a community from all over the world. There are families I've reached as far as London, as far as Spain, Oxford, Germany, Luxembourg, Germany, um, Canada. I can go on and yeah. on and on. But please, look at my blog, follow me on my blog, and allow everything that I do, it's not about me, but let it inspire you to change your dreams. I got one more question for you. Do you think Lance Armstrong knows about what you're doing? <laughs> I wish that Lance Armstrong knew what I was doing, and I wish that Greg LeMond knew what I was doing. <laughs> I wish that Chris McCormick, one, one, of the, one of the very renowned Ironman triathletes knew what I was doing. Because it's because of them that inspired me to take my life back 
and to be able to chase my dreams and to be able to give back to the communities all over the world and inspire the younger generation to live out their dreams and the older generation to be able to, to step it up and to be able to realize it's not about us, it's about you. Yeah, all right, thanks a lot. My pleasure.